All right, everyone, welcome to the Yokoi Kids live stream for August. And August game is Donkey Kong Land. Hopefully you guys can hear the game audio okay. Let me know if it's not loud enough. But uh, like I mentioned, Yokoi Kids, this is the game for August for Yokoi Kids. And if you're not familiar, Yokoi Kids is a Game Boy Game of the Month club that anybody can join. And people submit all kinds of creative things revolving around the game that month. So for example, I'm doing a live stream. Um, but people do written reviews, we got comics, all kinds of stuff. We got a webpage, yokoikids.com, we got a Twitter account. So uh, make sure and follow all that stuff. And also, um, I will be posting the archive of this live stream on my second channel, Mad Ape Productions. That's Mad Ape Productions. I think somebody can play in the last stream. I said that too fast. And if you're watching this on Mad Ape Productions, make sure to check out my main channel, Retail Archaeology, which is where I'm streaming this from. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Sound is fine. Great. Fantastic. Now, like I mentioned, this is the game for August Donkey Kong Land, and I have never played this game. I am actually going to be playing this game for the first time tonight on this stream. Um, this is a first, actually. I've been familiar with every other game that's been uh, the game of the month for Yokoi Kids, but um, this one I've not played. Now, I've played tons of Donkey Kong Country, and this looks very similar to Donkey Kong Country, so uh, I feel like I should probably be right at home. But let's uh, go ahead and get started here. And if if you're asking yourself why is the Game Boy Game Club called Yokoi Kids, it's named for uh, Gunpei Yokoi, who was the inventor of the Game Boy. Looks like I gotta pick a save slot here. Let's do that. Huh, the music's very similar. How do I slap? Can I slap? Is there no slap? Okay, I guess not. What did that coin do for me? I think, I'm guessing I have Diddy in reserve. Can I, is there no slap move in this? I guess not. Well, damn it. I have to say, it controls a lot better than I thought it would. I really expected the controls to be a little bit sloppier. I, You know, I never had the huge Game Boy game case. I know which one you're talking about, the one that looks like a giant Game Boy. When I was a kid, I had the... Uh, it was a black fanny pack, or whatever you want to call it. Um that said like Game Boy in pink letters. It was so 90s now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, can I not make that jump? I guess not. Now I'm guessing if I had the barrel, maybe I could get a secret there. Oh, and I have hearts down at the bottom? Is that how many guys I have left or is that? That's obviously not hits, I'm guessing. Let's see. Like what if I, no. Yeah, it, it is actually playing really smooth. I'm surprised. I mean, the Game Boy, I don't think really has any more horsepower than the NES. I don't think. Oh, look, the, the animal buddies are in here. Oh, cool. No. No. You don't, it doesn't, you don't, I can't do the move though. Like hitting, where does that go? Uh, I guess that's probably a checkpoint. Oh, did I die? That was not somewhere I should have went. Yeah, I think the hearts are, guys. I think you're right. Okay, so this is a Donkey Kong barrel. Oh. So how do I switch between... Oh, select. Okay, cool. And, you know, it's pretty, the characters are recognizable. Is low resolution is the... Oh, look, I got all of them. I'm guessing that's the end of the level. Yeah, it's very similar. Save game, I guess, there. Okay. Cool. I'm guessing this game's not... 
not as big is um, Donkey Kong Country. Whoa, okay. I'm kind of having a hard time telling where the ground is. But it looks like we have most of the bad guys here too. That's cool. Yeah, see, now, the other thing I have to admit is I am playing this on an emulator. I do not have... Oh, cool. Okay. I don't have this game on the Game Boy. Um, I was just recently at the Game On Expo in Phoenix, and I looked for this game there. I had every intention of buying it while I was there, but I actually could not find it. I found some Japanese baseball games for the Game Boy, which was pretty cool, but I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. I read on Facebook that Sears and Kmart are closing more stores. I'll have to look into that. That would not surprise me. I, I, there's not really any more Kmarts near me they could close, but there's some Sears stores that I've been in recently that I know were not busy at all, so it would not surprise me if those got added. Uh, Donkey Kong Country was like the flagship for Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country is an amazing game. Um, I remember the first time I played it. So I, growing up, I had... I know I can get in there. I had a Sega Genesis growing up. Well, I had an NES first. And then I had a Sega... I know I can get in there. Come on. Come on. How do I do it from here? Oh, shit. That was further than I wanted to go. No, okay. I guess I have to jump over that. Actually, you know what? I'm sure I can get in that other... There we go. Oh, the guy, the extra guy balloons go by so quick and I hit the wrong button. Um, I've heard stories. Uh, actually, you know what? There was, a, where was there a Sears? At Desert Sky Mall. The Sears there actually gets, is that a flying pig? That's stupid. Oh, damn it. The Sears there actually gets pretty busy at Desert Sky Mall. Surprisingly. Oh, I missed the extra guy again. I, you know, I'll ever, you know, this game, like I said, it's controls pretty good. Um, graphics look pretty decent. That being said, I'm playing this on like a huge, you know, a big monitor. This might be a little bit difficult. I'm excited, try, excited to try and find the cartridge because I imagine this might be a little bit difficult to play. Ah, I got him that time on the Game Boy, like on an original Game Boy. Probably could play this pretty easily, like on a Game Boy Advance or like something backlit. But okay, hold on. Can I just make this jump in one jump? Yeah, I can. Oh damn! I have Donkey Kong though, right? Okay, cool. But I didn't get out of the way quick enough. That was stupid. Did the Genesis portable game player? Did you get? No, I did not get the Genesis. Well, now, wait a minute. Are you talking about the new one? Or are you talking, like, the new Genesis portable one? Or are you talking about, like, the Sega... No, I missed it again. The Sega Nomad, like, that they sold back in the day. Because I did not I did not ever get a Sega Nomad, if that's what you're asking about. Now, um, that little portable Genesis thing they have now, yes, I do actually have one. Um, it kind of sucks, though. It's great except for one thing. The, the sound emulation is just, it's awful. And I'm a big sound, I love the sound on the Sega Genesis. It, as games, dude, that was terrible. Um, if, if somebody doing sound on the Sega Genesis, if it's done by somebody who knows what they were doing, the Sega Genesis can sound amazing. So when I want to play games that have like amazing music or sound effects or whatever in it, and then you play it on that awful thing with the awful sound emulation, it's just not playable. Now they do make a portable Atari 2600 that's in the same case, like in the same form factor as that Genesis. It's just a different color. And that thing's pretty cool. But I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to screw up Atari 2600 emulation, but I actually really like that thing. Um, the controls are pretty decent on it. It emulates um, Atari 2600 really well. Oh, jeez, I almost didn't make that. And you can put ROMs on it and uh, play ROMs off of it. So it's fantastic for that, too. But I just I like playing things like Yara's Revenge on it and stuff. So the, the Atari one's fantastic. The Genesis one, 
I would pass just because of the sound. But it also, it'll play ROMs off of, um, you know, the SD card. But I'm trying to think, the one that I have, like, it even has a decent amount of built-in games and decent games. Like, it's got the Fantasy Star series, you know, it's just the sound is so bad. Like, playing any of this, ooh, there's a, I saw a letter there. You know what I, I haven't found? Well, except for like this, but like, are there any of those like run into the wall with the barrel secrets? Oh, that could have sucked. Oh. It's okay. Get the get the G. Get the G. Get the G. And get out of there. Ooh, bananas. This is actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to find the cartridge of this. I'm I am thoroughly enjoying this. Hey, STS Funko Vlogger. If you're just joining us, this is the uh, Yokoi Kids Yokoi Kids Club. Live stream for August. Uh, August game is Donkey Kong Land. Last month's game was Nemesis, which is a really good shooter if you're into the Gradius series. Not sure yet what next month's game is going to be. Ooh, ropes. That'll be fun. Oh, I missed the rope. Can I get back up there? Whoa. That's okay. That's probably the choppiest animation I've seen yet is the, the rope swing. Let's try that again. That's pretty choppy. That's still pretty amazing, though, for the Game Boy. Shit. I really want to get a copy of this game, too, because I was looking at um, the box art, and it says that this is one of the games that's enhanced. Oh, I missed it. For the Super Game Boy, and I'm a huge fan of the Super Game Boy, and that's actually shit. It's hard to talk and play at the same time. That's a subset of games I'm complete collection I'm going for is uh, the Super Game Boy Enhanced games. I'll take a minute here to look at some chat here. Uh, see here, you just hooked up a 36 inch Dayton ceiling fan that you got from a now closed Toys R Us. That's cool. If you haven't seen my video on um, some really cool like signage and visuals from Toys R Us, a really, uh, really super generous viewer. Uh, named Leia sent in sent me a bunch of signs and posters and uh, vinyl visuals and stuff like that from Toys R Us that are really cool. So that that was two weeks ago's video. Do I think J C Penney's are going to close more stores? You know, maybe I've heard that Penney's is not doing so well. I heard they were doing okay for a while, like they were making kind of a comeback, and then. Uh, They've had a couple of bad quarters, from what I understand. I haven't seen what their what their their earnings are this quarter, but um, I did hear that Dillard's did not have that great of a quarter, and that their stock dipped a little bit last night. I barely grabbed that, um, and so that's kind of interesting timing. Oh wait, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. I found another secret. Oh god, I almost fell down. Now I want to get back up there. Can I? Hold on. Oh, look at those bananas. I kind of feel like this game, like if you know what you're doing, if you're paying attention, it's it's kind of throwing extra guys at you. Music's pretty good too. I feel like the um, hitbox detection is pretty forgiving too. Like I feel like some of these guys, these bad guys, like it should be counting as me getting hit, but it's like kind of bumping me up and letting me stomp on their head. Oh geez, I almost fell down there. Cool. This is pretty fun. So yeah, I think I would recommend this game. I, I want to get it for sure.
How do I feel about Pacific View Mall in Ventura, California? Well, I don't really know anything about Pacific View Mall in, Ver in Ventura, California, but it sounds... It sounds to me like you might know something, so if you know something interesting, I would love to hear it, because maybe I could go look. Uh, California is definitely a place that I plan on doing even more filming. Uh, also, in October, I will be in New Mexico, in, in, in the Albuquerque area, so um, if anybody... Looks like I'm at a crossroads here. If anybody um, knows anything interesting that I should go look at in Albuquerque, feel free to send those over, you know, via Twitter or whatever. Yes, this is a classic game I'm finding out. I Oh, jeez. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. But this kind of very much feels like uh, Donkey Kong. Shoot. That was not good. How do you do that? Really? That's what I was trying to do was hit the guy with the barrel. Ooh, bananas. Ooh, bananas. Oh, jeez, really? Hey, how's it going, free samples? Do I think I'll go to Utah or Vegas? Uh, the answer is yes to both. Um, definitely. I mean, I've been to Vegas. I love Vegas. That's one of my favorite places in the world. Uh, I haven't done any filming there for the channel yet, obviously, but I, I plan to remedy that uh, sooner than later. I, shit. I've never actually been to Utah, though. I What I need to do is hit that guy with the barrel. Um, but I would like to go to Utah for sure because a few people have... What the shit? That was awful. A few people have suggested some things over there. I, terrible that I should look at. This does remind me of Donkey Kong Country quite a bit. There we go. Okay, so hit that guy with the barrel. It's actually been a wait. Did I I missed bananas? Didn't I? It's actually been a while since I've played it on the um, super. Actually, that's not true. I, well, I only played it for like ten minutes, but I played it for a little bit when I got my SNES Classic. But other than that, I haven't played this in a while, which is kind of interesting because I this is what Donkey Kong Country is one of those games that uh, like any any time it's available on any virtual console, I have it. Like I think I have it on the Wii and on the. Uh, Wii U Virtual Console, and then I have it again. I, I own the actual cartridge. Oh, that was cool. And then the SNES Classic. I like the whole mechanic of, of using, bouncing off some of the enemies to get up to the areas you need to get up to. Oh, crap. I have a few Game Boy Advance SPs laying around, Joseph. It's okay. It, oh, jeez. How do I do this? Oh. Oh, wait. Can I go there? What's over here? Anything? Nothing. But my problem with the SP is that it's... Uh, really? How do I... Oh, is that what I need to do? My hands are kind of big, so the it's not that comfortable. I really like the original Game Boy Advance, but I gotta get one. I want to get one that's like backlight modified. And that was, I guess, my choice there. Ooh, that was a mistake. Up. 
Yeah, I really am gonna have to look for a copy of this, like an actual physical copy, because this is this is great as far as Game Boy games go. Like platformers go, this is fantastic. Oh no! Because I think up until this point, you know, up until I played this game, probably my favorite platformer, and this is going to sound so basic, but my favorite platformer is Super Mario Land 2. That, that game is great. Um, but I could see myself really getting into this. Whoa. Can I make that jump? Yep. This level feels pretty long. Snake. Oh, stupid. Getting impatient. Really? I like how he comes out of like a portal. Go. I think that's back to where I was. Is it Beaver? Ooh. Bird? Oh gosh. Okay. Shoot. Did I? Am I missing a letter? Whoa! What's that? Let's take a minute to catch up on the chat, guys. Oh, hey, AC Castillo. I'm glad this is the first time you've actually got to attend a live stream. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I will be posting the archive of this over on my second channel, uh, Matt Ape Productions. I'm not going to clog the main channel up with, with this one, but I will post it over there in case you're just joining us. No, you didn't miss the live stream. You're still, it's still going on, store dude. Oh, okay, I, so I needed the bomb. Oh, okay, I could have... That's cool. That's interesting. I like this. There's, like, subtle differences to Donkey Kong Country. So it's it, it's its own game still. I'm sure there's, like, lots of secrets and stuff that I... Oh, cool. Forced scroller. It kind of. Damn, beaver's messing me up. Ooh. I forget, did Donkey... I don't think Donkey Kong Country had a level like this. Maybe it did. It's been a long time. I know that I, I've been through it a few times with my with my buddy when we were kids, but then I never played through it again. The last couple times I've played it, it's been um, just to play it long enough to get to the... Uh, Mine train level because my wife really likes those. <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't see the other barrel for a second. Oh, I missed it. That's tricky. Let's try that again. This is a really great game. I don't remember who picked this for for the Yokoi Kids um, Game of the Month Club, but whoever did, they they did a good pick. This is fantastic. beavers it's kind of funny the, the controls are smooth enough that like that thing I just did where I bounced off those two I mean I meant to do that but it 
makes it really easy to do it. It kind of makes it pretty easy to make it look like you're a badass. So that's a plus. Now, see, now I'm into this game so much that I'm going to have to look. Oh, that's bullshit. I, I hit that. I'm going to have to look and see if there's any, like, speed runs of this for, like, uh, ADGQ or whatever, or Summer Games on Quick. Because I'd like to see that. I know Game Boy speed runs are kind of a, an emerging thing, but this seems like a game that would be perfect for that because there's just so many things that... Whoa. That can make you look like a badass. Like, if I if I had known what was coming up just there, I wouldn't have had to have jumped back, and I probably would have kept going. And it would have looked freaking sweet. Whoa, beetle. Bee, bee stinger, beetle. Bee stinger, is what I was trying to say. I, I apologize again, guys, for uh, Rotting Acres Mall. Oh, that was crap. For Rotting Acres Mall being down. Um, hopefully this is an okay substitute for, for a Friday night chill stream. Let's see here. I'm going to catch up with the chat here for a minute. Uh, Scott Brickenhoff says, awesome. Thank you. Uh, so you might want to check out uh, some dude. Don't spam your YouTube channel in here. Let's see here, uh, please. Uh. Oh hey Austin, I'm glad you saw me at the game, or I'm I'm glad that I got a chance to say hi again at the game on Expo. Please ask J J Jared Davies if he has. I don't know who Jared Davies is. Oh okay, wait, yeah, get that. You know what I, I mean, I, I guess I noticed this earlier and it doesn't really bother me or anything, but it's, it's, I'm sure it's due to the Game Boy's limitations, but if you notice, you know, when you've got Diddy or whatever, like when you've got both of the Kongs, <laughs> they, only one of them is on the screen at the same time. That doesn't surprise me and I, that's a fair compromise, I think for, I mean, really, this is, this is amazing. This game plays great. I mean, I, I didn't think it was going to be bad or anything, you know, but... This is good. I like it. Okay, here's where I screwed up before. Whoa. There we go. I would love to get to Sunrise Mall in Corpus Christi for sure. Oh, thank you, uh, DP Mike 1189 He said I'm the OG badass. That's very nice of you to say. Wait, do I have to do this one or not? Or I guess I did it already. Wait, what does it mean if they're blinking? Does that mean I got everything? I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to find the manual. Hmm. Oh, that was nice. Great job. I did, I have noticed a couple of times, oh, the screen has had a hard time keeping up with my character, which can be a little dangerous sometimes. That's okay. Like I said, I think as far as a technical achievement goes, this is pretty amazing for the Game Boy. I like these, uh climbing segments because they remind me quite a bit of, of Donkey Kong Jr. It's too bad you can't like go up both at the same time. Can I jump up there? There we go. Whoa. Oh jeez, that was dangerous. I thought I was a oh I thought I was a goner there. Get the bananas! B. 
be... Is there anything worth... Is it worth my time trying to get up here? No, probably not. Probably not. Please do, because sadly... Oh, get to the corp. I would, like I said, I would love to get to that. Did Rotting Acres Mall die again? Uh, yeah, it did, Austin. It's it's out of order right now. I got it. It keeps... it. The last stream we did, it kept crashing all of a sudden. And it's unfortunate when it crashes, because it crashes in such a way that... I can't run it again until I reboot the computer. And so it's a giant pain in the ass. Oh, gosh! What was that all about? Did I find a secret? Let's try that again. Tricker, just go really fast. Ooh. Oh, that seems like a tall order. Hold on, let's try that again. I don't even know what those those coins are. Like those big. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal because I keep getting an extra guy, right? So. Ha. Ah. Ninja shit right there. Although I guess a ninja probably would have done it on the first try, but what? Oh, whatever. I don't want to miss the K. Yeah, see there, falling down there, it's kind of scary because uh, you fall faster than the screen can keep up. Same thing there. Oh, that was scary. Oh, geez. Oh, I didn't mean to... I was pushing up, not over. No, I didn't actually have a booth at the Game On Expo. Um, I did have a panel though, which was cool. I did do a panel and, and get to talk, which was nice. But uh, no, I wasn't quite big enough to have my own booth. Maybe next year. Hopefully next year. I had a pretty decent um, turnout though for the panel. There was a couple dozen people there. It, was, it went pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I tried to film it but we didn't, uh, shit. We didn't shit. No, we didn't, um, do it right. So, like, it, I, it didn't film. Like, it turns out the camera, I think it was filming still from when I was doing a test shot. And then I pushed the button again, um, to start it. But I think I actually stopped it. So I didn't get a recording of it. But, um, I may kind of put together a little video because I used some video clips and some things that I made special for the panel. So I may kind of put it together. What is that right there? Is that anything? Um, I may put something together just to kind of simulate what the talk was, basically. Um, I don't, Or, you know, maybe I get invited to another con and, and get an opportunity to do a panel, the panel again, and then I record it. So if you guys have any um, gaming conventions near you, and they're asking about who they should invite for guests, you can always mention the Retail Archaeology channel, because I do cover um, some retro gaming stuff occasionally. But also, uh, the panel I did was actually on um, Dead Malls and Urban Exploration and how it relates to like playing a real-life video game. This is cool, by the way, this level. Where do I go now? Um, and just how kind of the, the two relate, like when you're doing it, how it's kind of like playing a real game. So... A real life video game so like uh if you've got a convention near you and they're looking for guests recommend me because I, I have experience now doing <laughs> panels Let's see here well guys so yeah it sounds like there are some more sears closures i'll have to look into that 
It's amazing how slow with Sears, like how slow of a death it's been. Um, Toys R Us was like so quick from when they went to like bankruptcy and then, uh, damn it, bankruptcy to them like closing all their stores and being done in the US. That was quick, but like Sears has been dying over the course of a dozen years, it seems like. This music in this level is a little... Starting to grade a little bit. I don't know what I need to do to get that, but I don't want to risk... Oh, shit. Oh, really? <laughs> At least I had gotten a checkpoint relatively recently. Oh, geez. Okay, what if I jump from here? Got it. Ah! Oh. I knew that snake was there. I don't know why. Okay, and this I need to actually jump off of... Oh jeez, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Go down. Whoa. Oh, that was terrible. I did it again. Oh, I got out of the way that time. Oh. I thought it was like one snake and we were done. I guess you have to like actually get the top thing in view. Damn it. Nope, not worth that. Shit. Well, that is game over, guys. This, I have to say, this was a, this was a good game. I liked it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I am going to have to keep an eye out for the physical cart because I definitely want to add it to my collection. You bought an oven at Sears? I mean, I don't I don't know if that necessarily makes you dumb. I, I'm i guessing that... Um, I don't know which manufacturer it was, but the warranties are usually through the manufacturer, so you should be okay. If you all haven't checked out the video that I had um, that came out yesterday on the Dillard's Clearance Center at Metro Center Mall, definitely check that out. That's an interesting one. Uh, like I mentioned, Dillard's, it turns out, is having a little bit of trouble all of a sudden. So it turns out that turns out that video is kind of timely. But this one's interesting because it's a clearance center. So it's a store of theirs that they haven't updated in a while. So um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. There's a lot of 1980s, late 70s aesthetic going on there, um, but it's a little run down as well. But it's definitely not like the nice, fancy Dillard's that you would think of. Um, there's a lot of just interesting stuff for sale. So like I said, if you haven't checked that video out, uh, do that as well. And also, if you haven't checked out Yokoi Kids, uh, like I said, anybody can join that. So follow on uh, Twitter at Yokoi Kids or check out YokoiKids.com for more information. And other than that, I think we are going to go ahead and wrap the stream up here because I played through a game over. That was awesome. This was fantastic. This is, like I said, the first time I played Donkey Kong Land, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. Also, if you're watching the archive of the stream on my second channel, go check out my uh, main channel, Retail Archaeology. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.